Hey guys, it's Amy from Colorado Mountain Living and um, today I'm going to go back into one of my hives that over the weekend I found was failing. So I'm in the process of trying to save it. I don't know if it's possible, but I'm going to do a few things to try to mitigate their circumstances to see if it's possible to revive the colony. It's possible they're too far gone, we'll see. So the first thing I did over the weekend was to start feeding them because it looked like the primary issue was starvation. The hive was just totally empty. They were acting really weak. Uh, they were defecating in the hive. It just seemed like they had, they were just about to die. So um, I just started feeding them. I put a couple of frames of honey outside of where the bees were, the brood nest. And because there really, there was still a little bit of a brood nest. Um, and, uh, and so today I'm going to check on them to see if they put up any of that feed. I don't know, even know if they had the numbers to put up the syrup that I gave them, um, but we're going to find out today. And today, uh, if they have taken that step and it looks like they're starting to shift into recovery, I'm going to reduce the hive down to a single box and put in a couple of frames of brood and eggs from another hive. I've got a really strong hive, so I can um, sacrifice some of those and put them into the failing hive and we'll see um, if that helps turn things around as well. So let's let's go take a look. So first thing to notice is activity at the front of the hive. Um, I did put in an entrance reducer to uh, help the colony defend itself. I was wondering if maybe they were getting robbed, but um, the bees have pushed it out twice. I, I'm pretty sure it's the bees pushing it out. Um, I, you know, I, I close it up and so there's just that three inch hole and then like the next day it's pushed out again. So anyhow, I, the bees feel like they need more room. Uh, I haven't tried pushing them back in. So I'm gonna look inside and see what I can see. My, my uh, strategy is if they, and I already mentioned this, if they're looking better, I'm gonna take a couple of frames of brood out of my nuke hive. This is the one that's doing really great. You know, it was started off as a nuke hive, but they've expanded rapidly. The queen is laying really strong, so I'll take a frame of brood and eggs out of this one. I'll try to find one with some eggs in case that they really want to replace the queen. Um, and we'll see what happens. So the first thing I got to do is take the feeder off the top. Um, it does look like they've been taking. There are bees in the top of the feeder here, and what's really cool is that. I don't have any drowning bees anymore. So let me show you up close. These little um, patches of epoxy, they were just, you know, blocking holes that I thought, there's one down in here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's um, a little bit submerged. But once this fluid level decreases, bees seem to crawl out of a hole in like a one-way trap and they end up in like the remnants of the feeder. But really that's, um, no, we all have almost zero bees in there. And if there are any bees, I don't know how they got in. They might have crawled through the lid or something. So no bees really coming in here. And there are, there is some bee activity. Now, not what I would expect, but there is some bee activity in the feeder. It looks like the hive is coming in, taking the feed. They haven't plowed through a lot of it. I'd say, you know, they've taken some of it. I would have hoped that they would have consumed all of it, but I don't even think they have the numbers for that. So let's see how... The inside of the hive. This is the frame of honey that I put on and you can see that they're into the honey. They're really crawling all over it so they're getting fed right here. So that's good. This is a frame that has a lot of pollen on it. A little bit of brood, not much. Okay, I see the queen. She's right, right there. Mo moving slow, moving slow. There's like the tiniest amount of nectar. I just, I don't like the fact that they're not bringing in any nectar. Oh, here's some on this frame, okay. So maybe they're getting around to it. Bunch of pollen on this side. A little bit of larva, so this is more brood nest. And this is probably going to be a nectar frame, so let me see. Very light, again, not much. Bees are on it, don't know what they're doing. Just putting in small amounts of nectar, so yeah, maybe they just need help with their numbers. So, I'm going to 
get some out of this hive, help them out. We take a couple empty frames out of here. Getting the brood frames out of here. Out of hot, this new hive here. So, and it's nice and windy today. Bees love the wind. Just kidding. They don't love the wind. But it's perfectly warm, so. That's why they're so calm. People are like, you don't have a bee suit on? What are you doing? But what I found out in Colorado, if it's 70 degrees and sunny, and the sun is just so, you know, just really calm like this, the bees are really, really calm. When I used to keep bees in North Carolina, I'd take off the lid and I'd have bees zooming out at me like crazy. We called them, the, I guess the name before them was hot bees. They just didn't like that hot weather. This weekend I put a, a new super on these bees. So this top layer is brand new, giving them room to, room to expand. Interesting frame. I lost my my wooden frame came right off this side Definitely want to make sure the Queen's not on here, right? This one's got a lot of drone activity. Well, I can't believe the frame popped right out of that. That sucks Well, I'm gonna put them down. Let's see Okay, this one's got eggs in it, so I'm going to put this frame in the other hive. Just got to get the bees off of it. So that's never like a pretty sight because you have to shake them off the frame and they're all up in the air. But it's okay. Put in there. So just double checking, making sure there's no queen up in here. That would suck. Pretty sure I've detected no queen, so. Still scanning. Although she was here, you know, a day ago, because I do see eggs in here that are like a day old. Just get my face down in here so I can make sure I don't see a queen before I move this over to the other hive. gonna look and see if there's one more frame that looks better and I got to get this broken frame out of here that's so weird it's like the just like shoddy workmanship you guys it's just really bizarre this came right out Sometimes the bees build some powerful honeycombs, so, so I'm hearing the sound of the hive increasing, getting louder and louder, so I think it's time to close it up. I know a lot of people, you know, are asking, why don't you wear a bee suit, or why don't you have one on right now? It's crazy. Um, I think a lot of the beekeepers might tell you um, is that it makes it really hard to see. It makes it really hard to see what you're doing with even just a little black screen. In your in your face so uh, I'm just gonna put the bees back in like this I missed that's most of them off kind of brush off the rest before I put them in to the new hive okay it's a little bit of a agitating thing, but Okay, that's one down a couple more to go 
Of course, this one's a little heavier. Don't want to lose all the all the brood. Doesn't take much of a tap though to get and get them out. It's most of them. If you're quick with your bee brush, you can kind of get the rest, but. This is more agitating. Bees are definitely more likely to be stingy if they're super agitated. So that's why I wanted to get the bee suit on just in case. You don't want these bees to be in the other hive. Of course, this one's really hard to get in because it's so fat with this extra brood comb on it or the extra drone brood. Okay, and then I'm going to pull out one more. Ooh, bees are like, what is going on? Okay, one more. Last one. Okay, bee brush. Putting it in, and we'll see how they do. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna close this one back up because these are certainly agitated enough. I'm missing a frame, but that's okay. When you get a loud hive, you know they're about lost, done with their patience with you looking through their hive. So I'll close them up. Thank you, brand new hive, for donating some brood. Okay, and then these guys. We'll see how they do. Give them a week or so see if they do any better. I'm going to put the feeder back on. Of course I got bees <coughs> on the edge here. Try not to kill any in this hive. I'm trying to be extra careful. So hopefully they still want to take this feed. So. All right, we'll see how they do. All right, well, I know I've bothered these hives enough, but the one other thing I wanted to do for this um, hive was to um, shrink it down a couple boxes because they were consolidated and, uh, or I want to consolidate them, I should say. So it's a little bit annoying, I've already kind of closed it up, but I wanted to come back in here to do that. So we'll see how active they are in that bottom, in this bottom um, box here. So. Some of these frames are just really old comb, you know, and I think I just would like to get rid of it. Give them a bunch of new comb. I'm also look, just looking for other stuff in the hive that makes it look like, you know, there was a problem in here. And I actually think I see something in the bottom that looks, so I'm taking off this box, gonna pull it out of the way. So what I'm gonna do is just take this frame off. I mean, this box out. It's a lot of dead bees in the bottom. Disorienting for the bees. 
like totally taking apart their hive. Oh, this one I was gonna show you. I think a mouse made its home inside this beehive this winter. Look at the bottom of the hive. Definitely something brought in a bunch of uh, grass and made a little nest. So I'm just gonna clean this out and put the hive back together as fast as I can. Poor little bees. Well, I guess the last step would be just thoroughly cleaning out the hive and there's just a lot of mess in the bottom of this board here. So it's a screen bottom board, but it still has inserts and it just traps all of the dead bee bodies. So it's good to, I'm just gonna pull it out and uh, tap out all the gross dead stuff. And uh, hopefully that'll help the bees. It's cleaning out all that dead bee stuff. I'm gonna put it back with the consolidated box. Right? The good thing about using, what you'll see is this hive is all medium supers as far as the size of the box. And that means you can interchange your levels. Okay, putting the feeder back on. Okay. Now, So the bees could have very definitely have had a hygiene problem because they had a mouse in their house. Uh, so that's um, something that could have happened. Uh, so I'm just gonna let them chill with a very small manageable size hive. And if it seems like they're gonna expand a little bit, I can build up because the bees like to build up and they had two levels of empty honeycomb that was old so now I can clean it out and I can put fresh new comb in. We'll see if they build from there and maybe that'll help them out and help them survive. So I've got all these, this is, I have two boxes of, um, from the bottom part of the hive. I'm just going to leave them out here to the rest of the day. The bees are just kind of crawling around on them, seeing what there is. There's really nothing. So it's, I'll, I'll move these boxes inside later on after the bees have left them, especially once things cool off. But, uh, very interesting. I kind of thought I'd seen, um, I'd looked, tried to peek into the hive earlier and I thought I'd seen some grassy stuff on the entrance. Couldn't really tell though, but uh, definitely you could say, you know, something was making a nest. Maybe, you know, who knows what else it was doing in there. I mean, mice don't really eat bees, but um, anyway, definitely probably contributing to disease. Who knows what a mice can bring into a hive. Um, so we'll see. This will be our, this will be our effort to see if um, this hive improves. All right, so that was sort of my next step in trying to save the hive. Introduce drone brood, or introduce um, brood combs from a healthy hive into this one. Um, they seemed to be taking the, um, the feed that I put in there and not much, you know, but maybe because they have low numbers. So they, they seem to be taking a little bit of that feed and they seem to be responding. They didn't seem as weak and crawly as they were. Um, they were still all together. There was still um, some brood in there. Queen was still in there. So giving them more numbers, giving them more food, hopefully that is something that um, is gonna help turn them around. So they've got honey in there, they've got the feeder, um, they've got pollen, they've got um, extra brood. So maybe by next weekend, we can see if it's going to be enough to save the hive. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.